Welcome back. We are wrapping up our chapter one study guide with some distance and midpoint. Now, they have put all of these together. Let's see how this goes through. So FR has endpoints there. So I'm going to do the midpoint first, and then I'm going to find the distance. Midpoint between F and R. Negative 2, 3, and 1, 1. I need a number that is in the middle between those two. Midpoint. So in between 2 and negative 1, it's going to not be total. Sorry. Um, I think it's going to be a half. So let's double check our work. I can also think about it like if I have a number line. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Okay, so here, 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 here. Okay, right in between right there. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be negative 0 0.5. I can also do this with a little bit of algebra. So average, negative 2 plus 1 divided by 2. So that's negative 1. No, yeah, equals negative 1 divided by 2, which is a half, 0 0.5. Cool, cool. All right, then right in between 3 and 1. Y'all, that's just 2. Think about your number line. Right in between 3 and 1 is 2. My midpoint is 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, and 2. If you wanted to check your work for the second one, 3 plus 1 divided by 2 is 4. Divided by 2 is 2. I'm going to erase my work so that I can fit the rest in because distance between these two points. Okay. I'm going to draw my triangle. Distance is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is my c, right? What is the distance between negative 2 and 1? So how far apart are negative 2 and 1? Like spaces on a number line, right? They're 3 apart. The other way I can do that is 1 minus negative 2, 3. How many spaces apart are 3 and 1? They're two apart. I can do three minus one is two. Now I can use those numbers in a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So two squared plus three squared equals c squared. C is going to be the square root of four plus nine is fifth, four, 13. C is the square root of 13. See, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, so somewhere in between there, the square root of 13, 3.6. So you could either write the square root of 13, or you could write 3.6. I rounded to the nearest tenth. AB has an endpoint and a midpoint. What are the coordinates of B? Okay, so we're not doing distance on this one, just coordinates. AB has an endpoint at 5, 7, and a midpoint at 2, negative 3. What are the coordinates of B on the other side? Remember, coordinates, put your parentheses. You're going to have two points. Okay, I need something that is in the middle. I'm just going to think about this logically at first. So if I have a number line and I go from 5 down to 2, 5, 4, 3, 2, right, that's minus 3. What if I just go minus three more? One, two, three. Minus three more is going to be negative one. Let's double check our work for that one. Five plus negative one is four. Four divided by two is two. Cool, we got it. Okay, same idea. From seven down to negative three. Whew, that's a lot. Seven. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Oh my gosh, that was so many. So what I'm going to do, I mean, I could count this. I could work it out. You could also do 7 minus negative 3. That's down 10. Right? We went down 10. So let me go down 10 more. It's going to get me down 10 more. Negative 13. Negative 13. Let's double check that work. 7 plus negative 13 divided by 2. 7 plus negative 13 divided by 2. Uh, 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Woohoo! We got it right. And I'm just going to show that I checked my work here too. Cool. 
what is the distance? What is the midpoint? Great. They gave us a graph on this one. That might be helpful. Let's see how we do. If you want to use a graph, use it. If you don't want to use the graph, get a scratch sheet of paper and do it the way you want to do it. Eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's L. Z. Zero, negative 10, one, two, three, oh, zero, no, negative 10, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, negative 10. Okay. I can find the distance in the midpoint. Now, midpoint's gonna be somewhere in this range. Not sure exactly where, so let's do that one first. Midpoint between these two. What is exactly in between eight and negative 10? Let's see, that's a distance of, that's a total distance of 18. So 18 divided by two is nine. So I'm going down nine, down nine. So that's negative one. Okay, this is making sense, negative one something. Let's see where it's going to end up. I went down nine, go down nine again. Okay, and then zero to nine. Oh, well, in between zero and nine, it's just half a nine. It's going to be 2.5. You can also add these up, divide by two. So, okay, hold on. One, one, two, three, four, and a half. Gorgeous. So if you want to add these up and divide by two, you can do eight plus negative 10 divided by two gives me negative two divided by two is negative one. And zero plus nine divided by two is 4.5. Just as a way to do those to check your work. So my midpoint is negative one comma 4.5. All right, my distance, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We know this distance from eight to negative 10 is 18 long. We know this distance from nine to zero is nine long. So I can do 18 squared plus nine squared equals C squared. Let's see, 18 squared plus nine squared is four to five. So my distance could be root four to five, which is, 20.1, 20 times 20 is 400. Logical. Cool. If you have a graph, use it. If you want it, ask for graph paper. Coordinates of the midpoint, what's the distance again? Here we go. Four, negative three, and four, two. Remember, midpoint's gonna be a number, or a point x, y. In between four and four, well, nothing's in between four and four except for just a four. It's just a number on the number line. You didn't go anywhere. And then in between negative three and two, that's not easy for me to do in my head. Negative two, negative one, zero, one. Yeah, it's going to be in between zero and negative one. So that's negative 0 0.5. The other way you can do that is negative three plus two divided by two. So we get four and negative 0.5. Now the distance from A to B, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, but I need to know the whole distance. Okay, from four to four, zero, zero squared plus from negative three to two is five spaces. So that's just gonna be equals five. Square root of 25 is five. You can put it in your calculator and prove it to me. AB has an endpoint there and a midpoint there was the coordinates of B. O seven. I'm looking for B. Looking for B. I know my mid is going to be at two negative three. 
So I'm just going to think about this logically. If I'm going up two, up one, two, I got to go up two more. So I get four. Let's see. I'm going down from seven to three. That's going to be down seven and then three more. So down 10. So let's go down 10 more. This is very similar to this one. My wires were different. Negative uh, 13. Four, negative 13. You can always, always, always check your work on these. Zero plus four is four. Four divided by two is two. Seven plus negative 13 is negative six. Negative six divided by two is negative three. What is the distance? What is the midpoint? We're graphing. Look, we have one of each, two of each. Love this. Negative two, three. One, two, three. One, one. Ooh, this is hard to see. All right. So between negative two and one and three and one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like it's going to be somewhere right in right in this business. So let's see, between three and one is two. That one's easy. So I know my height's two. Yep, that looks right. And so this is gonna be a negative 0.5. So my midpoint is negative 0.5 comma two. Again, if you wanna use some math, negative two plus one divided by two, that gets me negative 0.5 and Three plus one divided by two gives me four divided by two is two. Cool. And then my distance. Let's see, the distance between these is going to be three. So one, two, three. The distance between these is two. One, two. Two squared plus three squared equals c squared. Haven't already done that today, too? Probably. Yep, right there. Square root of 13. Three point six. Y'all, I hope that helps. Go back through the ones you need. Make sure your answers are right. Watch me and Miss Hall's videos. They are helpful. I promise.